you can see with all these pictures that momentum must have something to do with masses in motion. The momentum of an object is zero if it's not moving. In order for momentum to be some value other than zero, the mass has to be moving. Momentum, in fact, is the product of mass and velocity. Momentum, symbolized by lowercase p, because m was already taken by mass, is the product of mass times velocity. Mass is measured in kilograms, velocity is in meters per second. So when you multiply those two units, you get this rather strange sounding unit called the kilogram meter per second. Unlike energy, momentum is a vector, so the direction does make a difference. Let's try an example. What's the momentum of a 3.5 kilogram medicine ball traveling 4.3 meters per second north? This is a fairly easy problem because we're given the mass and we're given the velocity. We multiply those two together, we get 15 kilogram meters per second north. Where possible, we want to be able to give a direction to our momentum.